Hello, and welcome back to Arcurus Plays Arma 3. So, man, this has been a long campaign, and I think it's going to be longer still. So, let's just jump into it, shall we? Alright. With the help of the FIA, we are able to seize the main airport. We've been handed a major strategic advantage in this invasion, but we cannot give the AAF any time to breathe. Plus, with CSAT consolidating their forces in the north, we've managed to regroup and push deeper into enemy-controlled territory with little resistance. Now we're poised to strike Epirgos, the capital city of Altus, and their last true base of power. However, with one of the largest AAF bases nearby, it's a heavily fortified target. We'll launch a coordinated assault, securing both the base and the city. Cutting any remaining forces in two will isolate our enemy in the north and southwest. Keep in mind, taking this objective will represent a significant blow to the Altus regime, and could bring about a swift end to this conflict. Yeah, so it looks like it would cut the AF forces in half. <coughs> and basically isolate the south from any, uh, from any support from the north. That seems sound. This NATO's been pushing across the island. Link up with the convoy and secure our east flank. Holding that position will give us the upper hand when engaging the AAF base. That's the mission. Wait for orders. Okay, we're still nomad. Ah, it looks like I am not in charge of my squad for once. Alright, so we're going to grab a range finder because it's always good to have. Uh, I've always held that handguns are useless. Two round 40mm cheek grenade. We'll probably need the explosive charge. And it just, uh, like, the further I've gone in this uh, particular part, like, it just seems like the... I'm definitely taking that. In fact, I'm probably going to swap over to the MXM uh, rather than the... Uh, rather than the grenade launcher. For the simple fact that uh, I'm going to be carrying a rocket launcher now, so... I don't want to be carrying, like, extra, extra stuff. And I don't think there's going to be an opportunity uh, for us to resupply. You know, in the beginning of the mission, like we did through most of the, most of the campaign. Well, I guess we'll take a bipod. I really want to take this uh, this Moz launcher, but it doesn't look like there's any. Um, but it doesn't look like there's any. Uh, let's see the DMS. It just doesn't look like there's any ammunition for it. Uh, so what we will do is we'll grab a PMCL. I could go total meme build here. Hundred round mag. I'm already carrying like way more ammo. I'm carrying four hundred rounds now, I think. Yeah. We can get a we can get another one in there. Five hundred. 500 rounds, extra rocket. Let's get some frag grenades. Yeah. Yeah, 
that looks good. Victory is won, not in miles, but in inches. Win a little now, hold your ground, and later, win a little more. Louis Lamour. All elements, be advised. Artillery engaging priority targets in the vicinity of Point Gamma. Move to your designated objective and stand by. Out. Okay, I have my, uh... I have my loadout. Yeah, this is kind of what I mean by when I was talking about the lighting earlier, having, like, uh, bad occlusion. So, behind us, the vehicle had its headlights on, but, like, the light penetrated basically throughout the whole vehicle and lit up the inside of the vehicle. Uh, it does that with buildings too, and like light leaks outside of buildings, like on the ground and stuff. And if the inside of a building is lit, then it lights the outside of the building too, so it stands out like a sore thumb. Uh, that's one of the things that in uh, Armor Reforger that they've really, really worked on, uh, getting a new and better lighting system. And I think for the most part they succeeded. It's still not perfect, but... In Armory Forger, that perfect comes... Like, that not perfect comes with the fact that, like, due to, like, when something changes lots. So, let's say when it goes from high level of detail where there's no culling to far... Uh, to a far level of detail, and then it doesn't cull as good, so... Uh, maybe that's like a trade-off that they'll work on Crossroads as they work on the engine. Message. Over. Uh, go ahead, Crossroads. The investigation into the Stratus incident has been closed. NATO Medcom has finally confirmed the identity of Captain Miller. Over. Confirmed? Confirmed is what, sir? Listen, Nomad. The details go way beyond your pay grade. Suffice to say, Command wants you to remain on active duty. That's not information that they would just, like, radio over the net. What the fuck? Enemy contact! Vehicle! 12 o'clock! Open up! Open up! Shit. Disembark! Protect the vehicles! What the hell's going on? Ambush! Move! Get the cover and return fire! Crossroads, this is Bravo 2-3. We've made contact on route to Point Yankee. Copy that, Bravo 2-3. We need that flank secure. Lock it down and proceed to Yankee. Out. Right. I think I'm being shot at by my own guys. He's down. Standing by. Standing by. Rocket artillery is still going up. Clear. Room two hundred meters front. Okay, form on me. Get sent to assault point Yankee. Crossroads, we're moving on our objective. How copy? Over. Copy that, Bravo 23. Proceed with caution. Out. Serpent, move to the road. Lay down some cover fire. On it, Bravo 23. All right, stay low. Keep sharp. We're moving on Yankee now. Let's go! At least for once, they're moving slow. Crossroads, this is Charlie 2-3. We're advancing on Pyrgos. Over. 
Copy that, Charlie 2 3. Really useful. Okay, this area looks secure. Spread out. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Crossroads. Point Yankees under our control. East flank is secure. Over. Roger that, Bravo 23. Stand by for further orders. Break, break. Crossroads. This is Charlie 23. We're under heavy fire on the outskirts of Pyrgos. Multiple casualties. We're pinned down! Requesting immediate support at our position. How copy? Over! Understood, Charlie 23. Stay put and stay alive. We have no air support available at this time. Diverting Bravo 23 to support you. Out. Bravo 23, I'm sending Charlie 22 to hold point Yankee. Once they arrive, move to Charlie 23's position and provide support. How copy? Understood, Crossroads. Out. Wait for reinforcements. Carrie, do you read? What the hell? Shit, Carrie, come in. This is Nikos. It's Carrie here. Go ahead. NATO is shelling Virgos. You need to stop it now. Are you sure? We're engaging greenback positions near the city. How come? Listen to me. Yes, we are certain. NATO is hitting Virgos. You must do something. Uh, copy that. Wait one. Sir, we've got an FIA report that our fire support is targeting Pyrgos. Say again? There's been a mistake. Our guns are shelling the city. Ordnance is hitting civilian areas. Understood. Stand by. Crossroads, be advised. Our fire missions are striking civilian structures in Pyrgos. How copy? Oh, God damn it. Foxtrot 3, cease artillery fire. Out. Something's going up over there. Couldn't tell who's on. Okay, Americans. All right. This actually is a little bit more um, indicative of uh, military operations I've actually been on. You know, where you go somewhere, you barely do anything, and then you wait. And then you go somewhere else, you don't really do anything, and then you wait. So yeah, it looks like we're going to get on the uh, 
the MSR here, the main supply route, basically main highway. Make it over here and link up with uh, Charlie over here. And picture in picture for the mirrors was like, oh, it was such a good idea. I mean, it really kills frames in multiplayer, but it just adds that, you know, it's little touches like that that add to the immersion factor. It's why I've kind of like low key been really excited about uh, stuff like uh, Armory Forger because there, it really seems like with the new engine, Bohemia has made it really easy for them to go back to their Crossroads like roots. To Nomad. Message: If you encounter Captain Miller or one of his teams, you are not authorized to provide assistance. How copy? Say again, sir. You will stay the hell away from those Brits and their black ops bullshit, Corporal. Do you understand? Uh, affirmative, sir. Yep. Good. Crossroads out. Just what the hell are you doing here, Miller? He's fucking everything up. That's what Miller does. Like, even though I'm pretty sure that this is the, uh, that this is the mission that will determine whether or not we get the canonical ending, I'm thinking about doing uh, multiple episodes to see the two endings. But I think for the first one I do, I am going to do the canonical ending uh, to this uh, campaign. And then I'll probably come back and replay the mission uh, to show the non-canonical ending. I think there's a third ending that's non-canonical, but I'm not really uh, sure on that. Because the, the choice you're given seems pretty binary. And it has to do with uh, what they just said over the radio, actually. Uh, we were just expressly forbidden uh, by uh, NATO command from helping Miller's teams and to stay away from their uh, black ops. Nomad, we're near the cemetery. Door 11 o'clock. Copy that, Charlie 2-3. Moving in. Everyone, take up a position around the cemetery and for God's sake, keep your heads down. Carry, form on me. I see movement. Infantry. 100 meters. Right up ahead. Move 100 meters. Front. Contact. Man. 300 meters. West. Rifleman. 100 meters. Front. Enemy spotted. Man, 100 meters, right up ahead. Basically, because Cor uh, Carrie's a corporal and our squad leader is a sergeant, that would basically uh, make us one of his team leaders. Sir. I'm thinking you guys on me. Let's move. Doing something like that. To get in there. In fact, let's look to see how good my uh There's plenty of enemy soldiers out there. Oh god. Rifleman, 200 meters in front. Fuck. It's getting 
strong. Nomad, come in over. Everything's fine. Just a bit shaken up, sir. Over. Roger, out. Carrie, you've got options here. You can try to take out the tank yourself, but it's highly discouraged in this situation. You should have some satchels. Place them near the rear of the tank and detonate from a safe distance. You could also send your AT to engage it. If you're able to spot the tank from a safe distance, you can call an artillery strike using supports. But shelling the city is not taken fondly by the civilians. Up to you. Out. Alright. So let's dump that and become a lot more, a lot lighter. Somebody up in the tower. Check the windows. Rifleman, 100 meters right. Command, 100 meters front. Okay. Machine gunner, 100 meters front. Soldier, 100 meters right. No, 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 no. Oh. Hold fire. Not trying to attract attention here. Come on, we need to get on the inside of these walls. I don't want to engage along this road because uh, it's big open area there's lots of enemies we can see down there and the tanks right there so we could probably fire up and down the road as well sir I've made visual contact with the tank how copy understood we need it neutralized wait one nomad be advised we've got artillery on standby if needed call it in over. Copy that. Well, what about the FIA? Over. Your call, Nomad. Over. Target in sight. Ready to fire. Soldier! 75 meters! Right up ahead! Let's go ahead and save here before I do something dumb. Man, 100 meters, right up ahead. Fuck, man down. I think I accidentally killed a friendly. Sir, enemy meters. tank is neutralized. Right. Over. Good job, Carrie. Stay put. We're advancing now. Out. Soldier, 100 meters. Rifleman, 100 meters, front!
Roger. 75 meters front. Five meters, front. Dude, you can't even hit me with full auto fire from that far away. Wow. Okay, let's see. We'll take that. Out of first aid kit, so I'm gonna have to get some new ones of those. that Okay, I think he's down. Crossroads, X-rays clear. Over. Good work, Nomad. Dig in. Hold that position for now. Out. All right, let's absolutely check all the shanties. All right. Okay, so I guess this wasn't the one where it branched. But when we get there, you know, I will uh 
Having secured our eastern flank and supported a friendly squadron force, we were able to seize the capital and surrounding fortifications. Enemy forces successfully cut in half, and the seat of political power under our control. It's a turning point in the conflict. Alright. So. Yeah, we have successfully cut them in half. Um, but, this is a good place to call it. Thank you for watching. This is Sarkurus, signing off.